Hey guys, Michael here from michaelsherlock.com, here with iTunes 9, and I just want to walk you through the new application, just a general overview. I'm going to give you an in-depth look at HomeShare, the app, the, what allows you to share uh, music and movie files across your network between computers in a separate video. But uh, right now I just want to give you iTunes 9 by itself, no p external peripherals, uh, no other computers, none of that, just the application itself and how it'll apply to you uh, when you're using it. So they've redesigned the application. As you can see, it's a white background now. You still have your different sorting options. I personally am a grid guy. And you can also look at the genius sidebar. So uh, if you go to your song, again, you can click on this button over here and get your genius playlist stuff for similar songs inside of what you have. Movies is pretty much the same as well as TV shows. Podcasts, pretty much the same as well. Applications, pretty much the same. Ringtones, because uh, on your iPhone now, if you have, or iPod Touch OS 3.1, you're able to purchase ringtones, but please don't do that. It's kind of the biggest scam ever to pay 129 for a ringtone when perhaps the same song is 99 cents on the App Store, perhaps you already have the song, or can get it from other means, why would you want to pay more in, in a lot of cases, or at least the same for an entire song, uh, or for a ringtone instead of getting the entire song? It's kind of a kind of a scam. And if you need to need some help with ringtones, just Google like iPhone ringtones or whatever. Again, iTunes DJ. This was here in previous versions, but it's actually pretty cool and a feature that I haven't heard people talk about. It's basically automatically picks songs and makes a continuous mix of your music, and using a application an application on the iPhone or iPod touch anybody can just come in request some music up and it's basically like a, an automated DJ which is you know pretty cool that Apple has that inside of their application so if you had your Macintosh connected or your Windows PC because when because iTunes works on multiple platforms if you had that hooked up to your audio system people can just get on, on their iPod touch or iPhone that they already have or you could maybe have viewers set up anybody could just dig in there say I want this this and this to play and the DJ will take care of all that. So they redesigned iTunes, uh, the application, but they've also redone the iTunes Store. Instead of having a s little sidebar over here, they've actually created a dynamic sidebar or top bar across the top that gives you that ma basically makes it much easier. So when you scroll down, no matter where you are, you can always get into your music by clicking on it, clicking on the arrow, getting into different features. Uh, so if you wanted to go right down from wherever you were into independent movies, and honestly, I'm not even an independent movie type of guy, but you can get that, you can see it, and you can go right back to your homepage, makes it, or the homepage, it's really pretty simple. So, we'll go around, they still have their top charts on the side, albums, all that. Over here you have music, rec or popular music, stuff they want to show you, albums and singles, and you can scroll right or left to look through all that. They've really tried to make it so instead of having to go dig in deep into their menus, uh, th that you c they wanted you to get the most information possible from the least amount of work. So a lot of a lot more content is delivered right on the homepage. You have some uh, iTunes different things they want to show you. You have your genius recommendation, so you can see all of your recs. You can see a list view over here, or just like before, you can scroll to the right or scroll to the left to get some more. Movies again, scroll right, scroll left. Let's click on Born Ultimatum for a second. This has the L this has the um, DVD extra. So if you're in if you want to see a movie, see iTunes extra. If you want to see a movie with some extra additional features, Born Ultimatum is a good is a good one and something that again will give you some of those iTunes extras. So basically, like it's basically like DVD extras. iTunes is really trying to get that feel, and we can go here, David Matthews LP. They're trying to get the content you purchase off of it to be, to resemble the physical media you'd get. So with an LP, they're trying to give you everything you'd get in uh, originally, I guess, a vinyl LP, and now uh, something that you may get in a deluxe CD pack or whatever it may be. And the same thing with DVD extras. They're trying to really make it so. You're not just getting the content, but you're getting an entire experience. And that's one of the reasons why people don't buy digital content, because they like having that extra stuff. So, movies. 
TV shows are the same way. You can scroll right or left, look at different TV shows, Family Guy, uh, NCIS, which is a good one if you haven't seen it. Mad Men is also good. Then they have some more little recommendations here. And what's free on iTunes? A lot of people, they may want to see some sneak peeks. They may want to see whatever free things Apple has available. And it's just really nice to easily have all the free stuff on iTunes readily available. Because, to be frank, who doesn't love free stuff? So it's nice that Apple is starting to really highlight what they're giving away for no charge. And we'll just go and look on the right sidebar here. You have TV shows. Again, you can look at full seasons or episodes. You can click that, and you'll get a live preview right inside. So we can, let's say we wanted to look at a trailer for Duplicity as well. It's pretty much the same thing, live trailers. Everything pops up really nice. Albums, it's going to be pretty much the same thing. If you wanted to listen to, I don't even know, I got a feeling. It's the same thing, it just makes it really, really easy. Then you have your Redeem, iTunes stuff, Genius Recommendations, Complete My Album, which if you don't know, it allows you to complete, if you have incomplete albums, you can buy the rest of the songs. And that's pretty much it. Again, App Store, you can click on that, go to the App Store, check out, again, top charts, all that. You have different applications, new and noteworthy, that you can look at what's hot. So... That is just an overview of iTunes 9, the new features and just the new UI of iTunes 9. For more information on iTunes, you can go to Apple's website or you can go to my blog at michaelsherlock.com or check out my HD video content where it's uploaded direct, youtube.com slash the revived one. Thanks for watching and have a good day.